in between, just to let you know a little bit better, feel free to write in chat, uh, hello, or from where are you dialing in today? And also what's your mood um, from today's session? All right, hi, welcome, welcome everyone. All right, just uh, just con conscious of time, then um, I propose we start slowly. Hi, hello everyone, nice meeting you. Yeah, everyone feel free to, to write in the chat, uh, where are you dialing from and also what's your mood uh, for today. Um, conscious of time, I propose we slowly uh, kick off the presentation, considering our breakout session, it's it's rather short. Um, it should take approximately 20, um, 20 minutes. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you all for joining this uh, product management uh, track, so to say, or, or uh, breakout room. Um, the fact that you are here today and, and listening to presentation, it's really the first step towards your uh, your future career or why not shaping up your, uh, your future career from that perspective. Um, I'm equally happy happy and enthusiastic to be here with you today um, to break the bias together uh, of yeah of, of females in in IT um, and if possible why not to also uh, let you be inspired by my by my session uh, what should you be expecting from me in the next 15 minutes really um, I will try to give you a, a glimpse um, into my journey in the in the IT world and space um, I will be zooming into the product but equally also project uh, management role so so you all have a good understanding of what the role entails and at the end I would like to uh, I would like you to walk away with few uh, takeaways and, and perhaps inspiration and advice that you can take forward um, in, in your career and perhaps you can take into uh, considerations. First things first, um, who I am. Uh, my name is Ana Maria Pavel. Um, I'm an expat mother, wife and, wor and working professional uh, currently uh, living in the Netherlands, in The Hague to be more precise. Um, I've been born and raised in, in Romania, a country in, in, in Europe, uh, where I uh, did uh, most of my academic studies as well. Um, perhaps as most of you, uh, before going to university, I had to make a tough decision which career path I should, I should follow, what track from, from all the, all the possibilities possibilities. I was fortunate enough to do have these uh, possibilities in, in front of me and, and to be in a position to make actually um, a decision. Um, I also need to mention that I was rather a geek uh, girl, if I, if, I, if I have to say it like that, um, being interested in a lot of topics. Um, eventually, I decided to go for, for engineering, um, uh, for an engineering track, and that's how I ended up in, by doing a bachelor in, in a faculty called Electronics, Telecommunication and Information Technology um, back in Cluj-Napoca in Romania. As you might have guessed, yes, I was one of the few ladies or girls in, in my class. Um, this had both advantages as well as disadvantages. However, during my studies, although I enjoyed my studies uh, a lot and I felt um, I, was, I was growing and, and learning a lot of knowledge, um, I was also involved in a lot of extracurricular activities um, in, in various uh, board, uh, uh, board of, of student associations and, and whatnot. And I was, as I mentioned, I activated in a, in a lot of student associations. Um, this really opened up my, uh, my appetite to actually uh, go a bit beyond by, by pure IT development and um, opened my uh, interest also in, in uh, product management, uh, at first project management to be more specific and, and let's say the business um, space. Uh, that's how eventually I ended up with uh, by doing a master thesis in, in Ghent in Belgium, um, by, doing, uh, by doing an Erasmus, being part of an, of an Erasmus project for the ones that are familiar with the, with the project. And um, later on, I decided to do my master in, in management of technology at EU Delft in the Netherlands at the faculty of, um, uh, at the University of Technology in the Netherlands. Uh, so that's how I came uh, to the Netherlands in 2013 with the intention to study for two years um, for my master. However, I'm still, uh, I'm still here up to date. Um, I will make a quick 
quick uh, break. Uh, for, I apologize if you hear a bit of background noise. Uh, the person is working from home. Uh, my neighbor is drilling some holes. So um, really apologies if you guys hear a bit of uh, noise there. Um, yeah, so um, as I mentioned, this is how my journey in the Netherlands uh, really started. And my master was really, if you would like, the interplay between business and, um, and IT and, and uh, pure IT and, and development from that perspective. Um, today, currently, I work at um, Amazon Web Services as a customer solution manager. And um, throughout my, uh, my career, basically, I saw the different phases of the, project, of the product lifecycle in, uh, uh, in the first place. And then I was both involved in the product and project management roles. Um, in my current role at AWS, I'm responsible to uh, guide the customers along their multi-year journey to the cloud. Um, and basically, I, I make sure that all the AWS teams are working together um, as, as effectively and, and efficient as, as possible. So from that perspective, it's more like a project management role than a product management role. And this brings me to, to the next uh, core of my presentation. What is the product management? And because I don't want this to be a one-sided uh, presentation or view, I would like you guys to, to write in, in the chat, what's the difference really between a product and a project? How do you guys see the difference? Or is there any difference to start with? I will take about uh, 30 seconds to one minute to... Uh, to see your questions or to, to see your answers. Right, no one daring to... Uh... Yeah, a project is temporary and the project is final. I think the product is more web and digital based while the project is physical. A product is physical or tangible material. I think the product management is the life cycle of the product from idea to finish good services. Managing a tech product as an entrepreneur is more like managing a project. You guys uh, seem to have a good um, a good direction there because um, indeed you you are correct and actually within the IT space and the IT world and and out there where where people talk uh, within the IT space um, very often we see this uh, two vital role in in the tech company the product manager and the project manager and indeed the product it's a could be a software product or an IT service really that really satisfies the need of a persona or a, or certain user group or user group and actually um, it's very important to know that it evolves and adapts based on on certain user needs so uh, what the user needs today might be different what the user needs tomorrow and that's something that uh, for instance the pandemic teach us as well um, whereas the project as you guys uh, uh, properly hinted towards it has a, a concrete start and and end date and uh, basically why the product can be anything really from uh, from being a physical and tangible product to, to just as simply as um, a software service that we consume um, on a daily basis nowadays um, it also goes through this life cycle as i mentioned from really inception development being consumed and why not in some scenarios being just um, uh, retract from the market um, and, and basically uh, uh, be being consumed by a certain user group. Whereas the project is that really one time endeavor um, with the aim of creating a certain product and, and service. Um, and, and basically it also has a clear design outcome. So when we start the project, normally now we talk about the agile, uh, agile space and, and agile uh, project management where we are a bit more flexible. Uh, but at least we do have a, let's say, uh, a start and, and an end, end goal. We know exactly where, where we want to um, be. And basically what sets apart the two, the product and the project, it's really the timeline. And the fact that in order to have a final product, sometimes it needs to go to various directions. So maybe different projects will be, um, will be spin up. So um, starting from this definition, um, this, this should already give a, a good glimpse of indication or what's the key difference between the product uh, manager role and the project manager management role. And if we were to zoom a bit a bit further, um, you can really see the product management and that's a very um, old definition that it's still so valid in, in nowadays um, at the interplay between technology, creation of an IT service, if we talk about the IT space, 
the business itself, because sometimes you need stakeholders, it needs to be approved, it needs to be consumed by someone, and the entire user experience. How does it look like? Uh, what are the functionality that, that it entails? And uh, if you picture in your mind three circles, the interplay between these three, it's really the, the product management space. Now it's very important to um, it's very important to understand that uh, pro product management and this is this is just meant to give you a brief overview and, and definition. It's very different different from one business to another. Uh, now we position ourselves within the IT space, yet it's different from one company to to another company, and so are, so are the roles that that it entails. But if we were to summarize, like just just a quick uh, quick um, key definitions uh, between um, yeah between the roles and responsibility of a, of a product manager, um, they would be very simple as, as driving, driving the vision of, of a project, uh, of a product, setting the roadmap um, for it, and also aligning to the stakeholders. Now, very important to, uh, to mention and to note, um, a term that's very popular nowadays within the IT space, it's the product owner role. Um, sometimes, as I mentioned, it, it can be different from one or company to another and, and from one organization to another, uh, but basically, the key or the primary differences between uh, between a product manager and a product owner um, could be summarized by the fact that the product manager uh, normally uh, has to deal with external stakeholders, whereas the product owner deals more with, with internal stakeholders, really his, his team. Um, as I mentioned before, the product manager is responsible for def defining the, the product uh, uh, vision, whereas the product owner is responsible for the execution of that vision in order to reach that, uh, that tangible or intangible uh, product, IT product. Um, uh, the product. The product manager oftentimes it's it's engaged in activities as marketing, return of investment, um, all the financial aspects that relate to it, whereas normally the product owner is the owner of a product backlog. And for the ones that have a bit uh, have knowledge in the in the agile space, um, uh, know what what the product uh, backlog means. If not, I'm more than happy to answer in the Q and A uh, session. And um, the product manager it's more engaged at a conceptual level, whereas the product owner it's really down to day to day um, execution activities, um, if you would like. Um, I will not go too much into the details because I want to I want to leave the space for uh, for questions and and to really guide the conversation towards the need the need of today audience. Um, but there are a couple of key takeaways that uh, that I would like you guys to um, to go away with uh, from today's session. Um, one of them being that um, you might you might be wondering or considering yourself, okay, how do how can I uh, get towards a career within um, within the uh, product or project management uh, space. Um, I think it's very important to start with with a solid um, uh, theoretical and conceptual basis. So to really know um, to know your space, to know if you are interested in a, in a certain area or product, really know that product, the underlying technologies, what does it what does it entail, and also having a bit of hands on experience um, would really help a lot. Um, um, then the next thing I would like to recommend you is to, to experiment really, um, because as a product manager applies as a project manager equally, it's very, uh, it's very important to understand the product that's being developed. Um, it's very important to understand the underlying technologies. It's very import important to have a nice blend of both technical skills, but also soft skills um, that can help you with um, throughout the career, especially if you would like to grow towards a product management role, which I mentioned, it's more strategic focus. It's really important to have a mentor, to be open to hear feedback uh, from, from other people and really uh, grow and um, grow, grow in your uh, role and also um, not, don't be afraid to uh, to embrace mistakes as well, because they might be a way to um, to go forward. Um, it's really important to be curious out there, because especially within the IT space, which is evolving um, at this space, it's very important to stay up to date, to know what's happening in the space, uh, what are the latest technologies, what are the latest um, uh, needs, and and as I mentioned, just stay up to to the trends by reading relevant tech articles. LinkedIn is a great source, but but also conferences like like today. 
day just hearing a new idea and um, and thought and also throughout your career uh, make both let lateral move um, and by that I'm I'm meaning explore with with different functions but also diagonal moves so moving up up the ladder um, towards achieving the uh, the position that you guys are interested in. Um, having said that, uh, those would be my my key takeaways or or aspects that I would like you to guys guys to walk uh, to walk uh, from from today's session. However, I would like now to open up the stage for uh, for questions in case there are any. Okay, not sure if my presentation was that crystal clear or what certifications do you need? Yeah, that's uh, that's a very good question. And that really uh, leads to the, um, that blends nicely with uh, with learning and being curious uh, that I just mentioned before. Um, I, I wouldn't dare to, uh, to point a particular certification because definitely uh, based on, on the space you activate in, there might be certain uh, criteria and, and whatnot. But for instance, to grow in this role, definitely having like, for instance, a Scrum Master um, certification, a product owner, why not certification, um, a PMP, uh, the project man, PMP and PMI as, a, as an institute, they do provide a uh, very good and nice uh, certifications that can help you in this space. So that those could be um, good areas to start. As a digital analyst, what are the steps to migrating to product management? Um, that's also a very good question. And uh, what I see often in the space is that uh, it happens that from, from the digital analyst space, you can move towards the product management space. Um, what's important, um, really do your, uh, your, your current role well and, and use that opportunity to um, learn on the ground, so to say, and acquire those technical skills. Um, but then also try to expand the, the horizon because oftentimes uh, within the, the business analyst role, uh, so to say, there aren't so many stakeholders involved and, and um, as a product uh, manager, you'll need to manage more stakeholders. So I think it's an incremental process. For instance, if you are looking to make the move within your, your own company, make sure that, that your um, direct line is involved and, and try to jointly do that. Um, and uh, yeah, as I mentioned, just try to get new certifications and, and get new responsibilities on a gradual um, level. Can the product owner also be a product manager? Uh, that's a very good question, and you'll see uh, you'll see that question coming up a lot in in uh, yeah in the IT space. Um, I would say yes, it can, but maybe it's not advised. Um, yet again, each company and each industry it's it's unique, and um, you'll see especially smaller organizations, startups where there is a lack of resource. Um, you'll see oftentimes a product owner and a project manager fulfilling that role. Um, this is more difficult in larger organization and the reason for that is because the, then as if you fulfill both roles, you might lose the day-to-day the -day traction and it's more difficult to stay close to your team, really understand and mitigate their risks and issues because you'll have to deal with so many external stakeholders thinking about the, um, yeah, the strategy, vision and, and whatnot. So basically that's, um, that's a bit of, of trade-off that needs to be made. Uh, can project management be learned alongside UI UX design? Uh, yes, definitely. And um, I think in a way, uh, especially nowadays within the IT space, UI UX design, it's, it's very important uh, for, for building and releasing every application. So definitely. I see a lot of questions uh, popping up. So um, we'll keep on going till, uh, yeah, we will be notified to go back in the main room. Um, what are the possible technical skills to focus on? Um, well, that's very important on the industry you want to be uh, good at. Um, yeah, hi Gigi, thank you. Uh, that's really important on the industry you will be you will be really uh, working on. So, um, for instance, if you have a if you have already an inherent interest, I definitely advise you to to go in that. If you are already active in in an organization, try to see what's the key or underlying technology for that particular um, organization. Let's see. 
I'm an architect and trying to transition into the product management. In my current role, I perform a lot of activities, project management. Are there ways I can tailor my resume to sit entry level roles in product management? Um, yes, definitely. Um, one caveat there. Um, in, uh, Tweaking the CV, it's, it's one part and it's very important and, and yeah, we live in, let's say, in a marketing world, it's, it's important. Uh, my advice to you guys, it's still uh, try to be true uh, when you write your CV, uh, because even it's, it's also important to ask what's going to happen after I get the role, um, because getting an entry to a company, it's, it's the first step, but then you will be asked to fulfill a, a particular role. So one question to ask yourself, is it, am I ready to fulfill the role? And I think, um, um, one one advice for uh, from that perspective is once you tr you want to do a move, try to see whether how you can already shape up your current role um, towards another role, so you can you can have already a bit of that that experience. So that would be really my uh, my advice to you, uh, Nabilah. Let's see. Uh, I'm missing a few questions. So if I miss any, please uh, raise your hands. I'm more than happy to, to answer them. I'm not doing them on, on purpose. Um, can I combine business analysis with uh, product management? I think it's easier from that perspective. Yet again, that's that's very subjective. Um, I think it's very important to, or it would be easier to start with, to combine business analysis with project management to start with, because it's a bit closer to uh, to the business analysis. And eventually, as you grow uh, into this space, then you can build your product management career or track, and then you can make a decision whether you want to do it alongside the business analysis or move towards a more strategic type of, of career. I have a PMP certificate from the British Project Management. I haven't really got a tailored job. Please, could you suggest how I could go about this? Um, I'm not sure. So, so basically, it's your question, um, Charity Nakoyendi. Uh, how can you make use better of your certificate in order to to apply for a job? Is that what the question entails? Okay, um, so my, my first, always like uh, when a company will, will read a resume, uh, it's, they don't have a lot of time to go through it, depending on how many applications are out there. So make sure that, that you focus on the key aspects, make sure that you tailor your CV basically, and, and basically the certification it's relevant in the first place for the role you are applying for. Um, and as I mentioned before, having a certificate is just the first step in, in getting a, um, yeah, the job that, that, you, that you wish or, or, um, or not. So that's, uh, that's a bit of, uh, yeah, my advice to you. So basically, to, to summarize, really make sure that when you apply to jobs, apply to jobs that, uh, that have that certification um, uh, needed, so to say, and would be key for, for that role. And, uh, and another thing, when, when you guys are listing certifications, it's very important maybe to add a one, two liners on why that certification is important and, and basically how you how was also applied. So have you applied in a project? Maybe you can highlight a project or, or something like that. Right. I see uh, thank you messages coming in. Uh, it was also a nice session for me. I hope I answered all the questions, if not, uh, I will give you guys a chance to answer some more. Yeah. All right. Um, I hope I answered uh, everyone's question. It was also a pleasure for me to, uh, to meet you and to talk to you today. Um, more than happy to stay connected on, on LinkedIn. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, let me know. If I'm not mistaken, we should all be, yeah. Thank you. Thank you as well for being active uh, participants and uh, raising questions. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we should be going uh, back to the main, uh, to the main room. Thank you so much guys for joining and uh, we'll stay in touch.